Charlie Cushane here to do another truck camping mod on my 2012 Chalet double slide truck camper. This time we're going to look at the solar charge controller. I have a um, eight year old controller. It's an old PWM type controller, pulse weight modulation controller, and I'm changing to a whole new technology and it's supposed to be almost 30% better and it will help keep my batteries charge since we do so much boondocking. So let's take a look. In my truck camper, the batteries are stored in this front compartment, which is really great because it keeps the weight forward and nice and low. And when the truck is disconnected, I have a lot of easy access to the batteries. I have right now Full River 12 volt AGM batteries, group 27s that I put in a, a two or three years ago. And I'll show you how I have it wired. So here are the, the three batteries. The batteries are wired in parallel and the solar charger wires go to these two opposite corners. Now let's take a look at the solar panels on the roof. As you can see up here on the roof, I have two 150 watt solar panels for a total of 300. Before we do any work, obviously the first thing you have to do, cover this up. You don't want any solar energy going in the system while you're working on it. There we go. Those solar, that's doubled up tarp, so it's pretty well covered. What you need to do this project is at least these three things. You need the, the Solar Boost 3000, the actual product itself. All right. The control manual, which tells you all about it. And this has the new 12 volt MPP solar charge controller. And this MPP is maximum power point tracking. Which is good for 12 volt batteries and up to 30 amps. Then what you also need is a spec sheet on your batteries. And this is my full river batteries. And it might be a little hard to read, but you do need to know what they call this float charging voltage, which I have 13.5 to 13.8. And you also need to know the, the charging voltage. And the Solar Boost 3000 comes set at 14.4, and I'm 14.3 to 14.5, so that's perfect. But I will need to change the float charge from the 13.2 to the 13.5, 13.8. So it is really good to find your spec sheet in this type of information. So let's take a look at what I'm replacing. Okay, here you see it's a Zamp Solar 30 amp uh, charge controller and it does say good for AGM and um, lead acid batteries. And it's in general worked pretty good, but ever since I got the AGMs and I added an extra one, it doesn't seem to work so well. So that's why I'm changing it. I'm, I don't have any paperwork on this and I know it is at least nine years old so eight to nine years old so I'm changing it out for this new type of controller so let's get started okay all the power is off in the RV I've disconnected the power the master shutoff switch I covered the solar panels and you can see there's no lights on that would normally be on so now it's just a matter of taking this apart There you have it. And it tells you right there, those are the solar and those are the battery. That's tiny. That's tiny compared to this other one. I, uh, I just hope that there's enough room in there. Now before I take these off, I think what I'll do, so I'm going to put some labels on here. So let me do that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, as you see, 
battery plus, battery minus, here's solar. Solar plus, solar minus. Here's the solar. And according to this, battery, solar. So if you take solar plus, it goes right here. Battery plus, battery minus, from the solar panel minus, and from the solar panel plus. As you can see, there is some life. 13.3 volts. There we go. Well done. Now we have to go into the program and check a few things out. Okay, I just uncovered the solar panel and reconnected my power. And not that I didn't plug in the camper, I just turned the master switch on. Right now you see um, the voltage and you see the amps out right here so what I want to do is toggle through the setup menu and change the float voltage from 13.2 to 13.5 which is what my spec sheet says it should be so the way you do that is you press this bottom setup button for five seconds until you get a flashing here we go see that's ABS according to this that's the absorbed to charge voltage, so we don't want that one, so we toggle through it. A, B, T. That's charge time. We want float charge. F, L, T. There's F, L, T. It said at 13.2. We want to change that to 13.5, I guess. So we have to hold this down again. The 13.2 starts flashing. There we go. Then we can increase it. 3, 13.4. 13.5, it says 13.5 to 13.8, so I think I'll, I'll leave it at 13.5. Then you have to hold again to lock it in. Here we go. Now it's locked in at 13.5. Now it just should go back, after a little while, to this normal programming mode. There it goes. We're back to the normal programming. That's... The voltage it's at and it's zero amps out I, I really don't have anything on except for maybe some vampire power like this radio <laughs> above um, so really 14.4 what it's supposed to be at and zero volts out because I have nothing on now if I turn the radio on classrooms outside even in a battery starts dropping and you can see now I have some amperage out we got really creative and reimagined what a hospital might look like we can do this for schools. You know, they yeah. the Jacob Jefferson a little bit out from that radio. Center into a hospital. There, now it's go back to zero. Start dropping down to zero out. Perfect. Now this over here, you see multi-lights. You have the absorption, which is when it's really charging it. Oh, bulk is when it's the most charging. And that's when both lights are on. You see, I don't have both lights on. So right now it's absorption, it's just topping it off and then it goes to float where it just holds it there. So this will eventually go off and this one will just go on if I don't do anything else. Okay, toggling through the displays, that's that solid red light you see right here in the corner, that's the amperage out. And we have it set to be charging up to a 14.4 for the batteries, which is good. So now you can toggle this display. Next should be voltage. 
That's what the battery voltage is at. Next thing is amperage out. 0.1, next to nothing. Then it comes around, amps in. So I'm getting 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That's what my solar panels are putting in to the batteries. It, the sun's just rising, so that'll be going up as the sun comes up. Amp hours, two. Auxiliary voltage. I don't have any auxiliary batteries hooked up, so that's always zero. And then it's off. So, as you can see, it's an absorption mode, but it's, I think, ready to go up to float mode. So I think we're all set. Project's all done. Looks great. Only time will tell if it's better than my old one.